So I really wanted to show you guys an awesome uh, add-on for, for Google Forms that I use all the time for all different types of things. Um, it's called Form Publisher. Um, and so I have this little puzzle piece, which is an add-on, uh, the add-on menu uh, for Google Forms. If you don't have it up there, it's because you don't have an add-on yet. And to access that, you just click on the More Options button here, um, and you can go to Add-ons. Um, so if you do a search for Form Publisher, So we'll go to add-ons. And form publisher is right here, front and center. You can do a search for it if you don't see it. Um, you would have this um, button to add for free. Um, I've already added it, um, but that's how you get it um, to show up in your little puzzle piece. And so what I wanna do is I want this form um, or the, re the results from this form to populate into a, uh, a like a document template that I've created. Um, and so I have a bunch of different questions on here. Um, and I'm going to click my puzzle piece and I'm gonna click form publisher and I'm gonna say get started. It launches a little wizard down here in the corner. Um, it asks if I already have a template file and I do. So I'm gonna hit yes. And it is a Google Docs. And I am just now seeing that it looks like you can actually go right into slides as well, which is awesome. Um, as of just a couple weeks ago, it was just Docs and Sheets when I set up my most recent one. Um, so we're going to do Docs, where it launches up a window so that I can pick my doc. In this case, I very uh, usefully named it Untitled Document. So we're going to hit Select. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually search, search that document. So I'm going to come over here. Um, and so this is the document. I have a photo in it. I have a whole bunch of text. And then I've added these tags. Um, these little items that correspond with our um, responses header, uh, which is just the, the question on our form. And so we have name so that it, you know, it merges and so it says dear so-and-so. Um, and then it will actually place feedback right in um, the letter as well. So I'm going to come back. I'm try, going to try and get it to detect markers, which it is not. And I'm going to see why. It's because, awesomely, I only put one of the little lesser than or equal than signs. It needs two. So that's something that will happen uh, as you are creating items like these. It's nice because you get that direct feedback. Um, so we went, I fixed it on the actual form itself. And so I can come back here and refresh. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we do. Um, we have some matching markers. And so what did you like? How useful or whatever, what was missing or what we need to change? And so it needs to be exactly the way that it appears um, in our document. So I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna paste. I am going to do copy and I am going to paste and we are going to see if we can get that to go again. So this is sort of part of the process. It's getting these, the um, item to match up with the question. I guess in this case, it's because the form itself what did you like what was missing? So often there can be an extra space in here and I think of that as what did it. So I deleted the spaces out on my form. So hopefully, there we go, three markers. So there we go, troubleshooting in action, folks. Um, and so once we've gotten our sections to match we can hit next you already have a drive folder so I don't so I want to create one and so this will create a folder where the merged documents will end up so that you have a backup of them and so it's going to just create a folder called form publisher outputs folder um, it can be generated by 
Um, we can do our name field, and we can do timestamp. We can hit next. Who has access? I have access because I created it. Um, we can also notify people via email um, so that when they submit it, they get an email back as well. This is in, um, so they get an email back themselves. Um, I'm going to get an email every time somebody um, submits one. So we can hit done. Our form is ready. We're going to try it. Joe Smith is a teacher. Presentation, it was all right. What did you like? The presenter was handsome. What was missing? Um, wanted to know more about getting techie. Fair. So we submit. Oh, there we go. That's where we need to put Joe Smith. Actually, I'm just going to put my email, tfigans.sd25.org, and we're going to submit that. So what happens, it submits it. So we're going to close out of this. I don't need to submit another response. What we do see is up in our responses tab, Joe Smith has entered, gotten an update on our position. And then what should have happened is over here in my Google Drive. So I went back over to Drive. I have this new folder that was created, Form Publisher Output Folder. And when we come in here, what we should see is a new document titled Joe Smith and the time at which it was submitted. And then we have, you know, nicely filled in, presenter is handsome, all of the feedback, um, all put into this form that was then um, emailed to him as well and waiting in his inbox for a review. Um, a really cool tool. It has so many different applications. That was just a little bit. Um, I apologize for my stumbling through it. Um, but hey, that's just how support and training goes. Got to roll with it. Thanks.